trying to judge and discriminate between memories as being real or unreal or right or wrong or good or bad is a path that goes nowhere healthy. Uh, it's a symptom and a cause of OCD and trying to constantly discriminate and label your memories is only gonna make you sicker. When we're trying to figure out if a memory is real or not or if it's correct or not, we end up throwing ourselves down this rabbit hole of anxiety, looking at all these different characteristics and trying to invent reasons about what makes a real memory, what makes a false memory, what makes a thought good or what makes a thought bad and it's impossible to actually ever be certain. So it just throws us on this unending loop and causes more and more and more anxiety. Trying to figure out if a memory is real or not based on all these labels that you invent and all these characteristics that you invent is no different than trying to figure out if a banana is real or not by trying to count the brown spots on it. One, two, three, did I count that one already? 24, uh, 25, now is that a brown spot? Or is that a brown line? Okay, so I got this banana when I was a drunk, so I don't really remember it, so I probably stole it from somebody. I might have stolen it from a store. I feel like I stole it from an old woman. I can't really remember. What if I got pregnant? This banana, though, you can kind of tell from the shade of yellow. I was having a bad day when I got this banana. What if it's not even a banana? This banana, I think there were uh, maybe six clouds in the sky when I bought this banana, so I'm pretty sure this is a real banana. This banana, I was kind of tired later in the day. So this banana, I'm pretty sure, is uh, real. You know when a banana is not real. Real? A false, a false banana. That banana is false, because I'm a rational person. But you know, I would, I would know. I, I remember it was, it was a Tuesday. I totally, no, oh, this banana is real. Like, I keep thinking, like, what if, what if it's not real? Like, it's got E. coli in it. Like, it's important to know what banana is real. This is an unreal banana. Unreal. I'm pretty sure this banana is unreal. I, th I think. You can kind of tell from the size. I was searching online for symptoms. I'm pretty sure I saw on a website say that you can tell from the size. And I like to think about things. I can't exactly remember. True. What if I what if I call it rational? I like to be a rational person. I like I people say I'm good at thinking. This banana. What if the banana is real, but it's me that's not real. Right? If I find someone else who has the same experience with bananas, then I'll know for sure. Uh, real? Banana is real. False. False banana. I think. One looks real. Kind of think it's a real memory, but I can't remember it exactly. But I really want to remember it. I feel bad about myself if I had the bad banana. Good. Bad banana, good banana. Oh, but I don't want to eat the bad banana. Uh... Trying to label memories as real or unreal, as false or true or good or bad is exactly the same as trying to label bananas based on some characteristics and superficial aspects that you make up in your head. And that's really what's going on here. You're getting upset about labels you add to memories that you apply to them. Okay, so you have control over that. Memories are memories, right? Thoughts are thoughts. Bananas are just bananas. You get past the superficial characteristics, you crack them open and get inside, and it's just a banana. And so once you peel away all those labels and judgments that you add to the banana, there's nothing there but banana. The same goes for your memories. There's nothing there but memory. All that other junk you label on top of that, that's just your OCD, that's just your anxiety disorder, that's just a lot of unhealthy judgment that you're then reacting to and getting, feeling really bad about getting sicker and making your OCD worse. So the trick here is to just accept what's going on in your head as just stuff in your head. Whether it's a thought, a memory, an intrusive thought, a thought you feel you came up with, a memory that you remember getting or a memory that just pops into your head, just accept it. It's brain indigestion, it's weather passing over your soul, it's just there, right? It's just a banana. Mmm, bad banana. Mm.